Uh, Diana is asking, does Fusion 360, thank you for the tutorials, I am learning a lot, well, glad you find it helpful. Um, so here, oh, here again, we are talking, well, the first three of one of them are cam, I promise not all of them are cam. Uh, let's say I have an object that I want to cut on my CNC. The height of the object is, let's say, 40 centimeters, and my CNC can only cut 10 centimeters. So my question is, how do I divide the four object P's and then cut it one by one and then glue it together? That's a good, that's a good question. Uh, I like that question. So let's open up a new document here for maybe. Um, one way to do this, Diana, could be to... Um, let me open up a sketch, and I'm going to do that on the top face here. And uh, S key, give us a rectangle. And let's just do something like 100 by 100. Rectangle like this. Let's extrude this up. And uh, there's different ways you could do this. Um, let's make it 200. So we have something that is, is this high, but let's say again that we could actually only machine, um, you know, we wanted smaller pieces. And uh, and let's say that, I'm gonna think on, on my feet here, friends. Uh, <laughs> let's say that we did something like this, that we had a rectangle in here, that we typed it 50 by 50, and let's make a cut, but instead of just going straight down, let's add some taper to it, right? Uh, so let's make it five degrees taper. So now it's wider on the bottom. So we have kind of like a development going up through here. Uh, so this would be a perfect example. 200 millimeters tall. And how do we how would you split this up? I think the way I would probably go about it um, without thinking too much about it would be to go in and create a, um, a construction plane and uh, start from the bottom here. And uh, let's go up, let's just go up 20, let's go up 40 millimeters, 40 millimeters there, and hit OK. And I would actually do that all the way up. So let's go, hold down my left mouse button. That will let me select through things. All right, so let's go up another, another 40 there. Right click, repeat offset plane. Hold down the left mouse button. That will select you, let you select through. And see, I can't select that plane right now because the face is in the freight way. But if you hold down the left mouse button, see, you get a dialog and you could select the plane number two. Let's make that 40. And let's do that one more time. Right click out here, repeat offset plane, hold down left mouse button, plane three, 40. Okay, so we now have kind of gotten these planes sitting in here. Now there's a command over here that is called split body. It's actually also sitting over here. Uh, split body. So we can select that. Select the body to split. That would be the whole thing. And the splitting tool, and now we'll do that thing where we just hold down left mouse button. We'll select that plane. And you'll see that you can do that. I don't know if we can select multiple in here. No, it seems like we only want to select one. We have to do that two times. So hold down, place, hit OK. That just split that body into, uh, into two. See that? So let's hold down the left mouse button, repeat split body, select that again, hold down left mouse button, and, uh, whoops, so we got that, select splitting tool, hold down left mouse button, plane two, hit OK, right click, repeat split, select the body, select the plane again, that'll be there, up there. So this would be a way that you are splitting this up into those uh, different sections. Now, when it comes to cam, you have a couple of different options right now. Um, you could go up and use the move tool and you could actually kind of like lay them out in an array and then you could, you could machine them like that. Um, you could also just go over here and we could actually hide them here. Let me just also hide the construction plane. And if we went into into the manufacture button here. Now I know that this is now a, a undercut, so maybe we would actually be machining it from the upside down. See, I don't think these things through. Uh, <laughs> so let's go in here, do a setup. Now, um, for the setup here, I am going to go to orientation. I'm gonna select the Z level. I'm gonna select that top face there. And um, let's just, Let's just let's just uh, place it 
um, select the point and let's just place the XYZ in, in the corner there. Um, let's flip the X axis. So now we have it in the upper left like that. So that will be set up one for the first part. Now we could go in and we could select a, a path here. So I'm going to select the two axis tool path. Again, I really don't know exactly what Diana is looking to, uh, to machine. Bold end mill like that. And uh, let's go in here and just select the selection inside of here. And let's see, hit OK, see what we get. So there we get a tool path that would kind of do that taper in uh, in three axes. So then we machine the first one, and we're like, cool, that's good. Now I would go back into, we actually don't have to go out of cam. We can actually just go into models, go over here, go into bodies, turn the first one off, turn the second one on like that. So now we have the second one down here. Um, then I will create a new setup and do the same thing as I did before. Go to C plane, select this front face. Um, I would select this that same corner, flip the X axis like that. So that's setup number two over here in the tree. And then I could go in and do the exact same thing again. Now I know that this is might be a little, um, you know, not very detailed. But what I'm doing now is I'm creating setups for each different one, right? And if I go back and I click on this first one here, that will be the setup for the first one. Uh, and I could actually program them all uh, down kind of like in, in layers like this. So now I could go ahead and turn, you know, to about number three on, and then I could create a new setup and I could do the exact same thing you just saw me doing, clicking on that point if I gotta repeat there, what I did. And then I would post each code out, um, each code out by, by its, it, it, itself in, in that manner. So I hope that that, uh, I hope that that answers. That'd be one way to do it. I almost call this the, I would almost call this the lazy way to do it. Um, because now we are kind of like just program everything as we're stacked up uh, instead of using the move tool and kind of lay it out. Will probably be easier to visualize. Um, but, but I think that, that that's a neat way to do it. Now, if you ever go back and you're changing anything in the model, because you're programmed them and stacked up, it's maybe a little bit easier to, uh, to kind of manage.